I want to talk about a game that I've been playing for a month actually. I started playing when it first released. I got bored of it. I dropped and started last month again. And I think a lot of you are familiar with it if you enjoy gacha games. Today, I'm going to review Genshin Impact. Genshin Impact is basically a free open world RPG game which monetizes using the gacha system. But before we get into the particulars, let's understand this first. It is a free to play game that means that you can download without paying it and the way they they make money is through in-game content or in-game monetization through the gacha system so what is gacha so gacha is basically like a vending machine game masa kita orang kecil pernah tak macam letak duit dekat um, satu box tu and then pusing and then keluar bola benda yang random kan tu kira satu gacha and in japan it was really popular they make a lot of money using gacha so genshin impact is actually created by mihoyo so mihoyo Hoyo is a Chinese company that is also responsible for making another uh, gacha game which is also popular called Honkai Impact. So the difference between Honkai Impact and Genshin Impact is Genshin Impact is another story, it's open world and it has and it's new because now Honkai Impact the third and then I must have fourth lah bagai. So Genshin Impact is fresh, it's new and they, they are not related. So the interesting about Genshin Impact before we start to go deep in the review, the story revolves around the plot or the setting revolves around the world in Teyvat. So in this world, Teyvat, it consists of uh, seven different nations that we will explore because we have to meet uh, seven different archons and what you need to know is the story starts with this twin siblings so these twin siblings have been traveling to different worlds for a very long time and then they stop in this world when they met basically a demigod a girl actually which stopped them and then separate them from each other so when you are playing the game you can choose which sibling which one of the twins that you want to become so if you choose the guy and then your other sibling will become the other character and if you choose the girl same goes vice versa so the story is about you trying to find your other sibling and you have a personal guide called Paimon so Paimon ada banyak je meme pasal dia and starting from there you will explore the world of Teyvat yeah now what's so good about Genshin Impact is actually the graphics the graphics and the OST the background music and the sound effects is a significantly better than most free to play game because free to play games they don't have that much fun unless they already uh, reach but to invest that much on even the voice actors and voice actress of the game is someone that is popular contohnya macam Zhao the latest character banner yang keluar in patch 1.3 the Japanese voice actor is the same as Kirito for example and other voice actors macam Paimon is the same voice actor as uh, Kaguya Love is War so they hire like really expensive voice actor and voice actresses secondly the combat system the combat system is newbie friendly or or a beginner friendly you could say even veterans or people who play this type of games can still enjoy it what that means is it's easy to play and this they have the combat system also revolves around elemental synergy maksudnya each of these character has unique elements that they can use so the only downside of playing this game is the content isn't enough what that means is by the time you reach ar50 finish all of your quests and you can all you can do is farm um, artifacts there are many other mechanics that i did not discuss in this video obviously we have to try to keep it uh, short and simple but if you do enjoy this type of open world game you like your waifus you want to roll for ganyu you want to roll for Zhao, or you like your husband those like zhongli for example then yeah i think you might enjoy this game